Hi everybody, today I'm going to show you how to use the Google 7 day calendar template, how to set it up and how to insert it into your Google Calendar for the year. So you're going to find the 7 day calendar template inside our staff folder. Depending on where you access your staff folder, you'll have to go there, but I keep my shortcut to staff folder here in my drive. So I'm going to double click and open up my staff folder. I'm going to scroll down until I see the 7 day calendar template folder, which is here. I'm going to open it up and inside there, there is another folder called 7 day cycle calendar master copy. I'm going to open that up and in here there are three different templates. Please be aware that there is a semester one, a semester two and a whole year. I would just strongly suggest that you do the whole year. I've tested all of these and they all work, but to make your life easy, just use the whole year. So the first thing you want to do is make a copy of the calendar template. So let's double click here and open up the whole year template. And you'll see here now that I'm looking at the seven day cycle calendar whole year template, but it's view only. So the first thing I want to do is make a copy. When you make a copy, it's really important that you put that copy in your drive. Please do not put the copy into the all staff drive. So you click make a copy and it's going to ask you to name it properly and it's going to ask you where you want to put it. It's going to default into the folder that it exists in. So first of all, put it into your own drive. So you can go into your own drive. So I happen to have a folder called calendar template 2021-22. So I'm going to put it in there and then I'm going to quickly rename it. And now I'm ready to go. So I'm going to say, okay, once I have my own copy, now I'm ready to fill in the template with my schedule. It is important to read each of these boxes. There are explicit instructions here on how to do this whole process. So the first thing it says is important. So we've already made a copy of our spreadsheet and it tells us not to rename the sheets. So down here, don't rename any of these sheets, please. And also note that period five in the spreadsheet is lunchtime of the HL class in your timetable. So make note of this box here, periods for spreadsheet programming. Periods one to four are normal. However, periods five, six, and seven are slightly different. Okay, so pay attention to this. When you're coding the spreadsheet, um, you're using period six and seven to indicate periods five and six. And this period five here is highlighted on purpose to make you know that this is actually the lunchtime, for, lunchtime period for HL. Okay, and then it says to encode your schedule in the class column, enter your class and then leave it blank if you do not have any lessons during this period. And in the location column, you can enter your room number. For example, here I would alter this completely based on my schedule. You can see here what I've done now is I have just put in the classes that I teach and their location for each of my seven days. Okay, mine is pretty blank because I'm only teaching one class. But please note that anywhere that I'm not teaching, I've just simply left it blank. So now we have satisfied the red box. We've satisfied this orangey box. Now we need to satisfy the green box. All right, so this is the step on how you put it into your calendar. So what you're going to do is you're going to go over here and you're going to open up the other sheet, the CS file sheet. So you're going to click over and it's going to, you're going to be super confused because there's nothing there. Don't worry. Just click on this tab. You're going to go up here to file. You're going to go to download and you are going to download the CSV file, which is here, a comma separated values file, CSV. You're going to click download. The next step is open up your Google Calendar. Normally, you are going to put your, your calendar template into your calendar that is named after you, that is default created when you are given a Google email address uh, by XWA. In this case, I'm going, I've already put it into my calendar, so I'm going to do the demonstration in test calendar two, which you can see right here. So in order to do that, I go up here to the cog on the right, I click, I choose settings. I go to the left, I go down, I choose import export. I go up here. Now, normally it's just going to default to your default calendar, but just do double check that it says your name in this box where it says add to calendar. As I said, I'm going to add this to my test calendar 2021, which I'm going to select there. 
and then I'm going to select the file from my computer and I know it's in my downloads. Make sure you know where you where your downloads are or where your, your files go when you download. Just makes your life a little easier. And I'm going to scroll down and then there's my Holt Test 1 SV file I opened up. When I can see it in here and I know that it's the correct calendar, I say import. It takes a minute. It takes Sometimes it takes longer depending on how many classes you have. It'll tell you how many events are imported. You say OK. Then you can click over here. And now you can see my test calendar is selected. So if I go to, sorry, to the right hand side and I can click month, then you can see that starting on the 11th, day one, 6.3 design. Day two, you can see it's actually mirrored because I have it in my, my default calendar as well. And you'll, all of your classes will appear all the way to the end of the year if you've chosen the year long calendar. So that's how you import your seven day calendar template into your Google calendar and then have your calendar available for everyone all the time. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.